Yo, what is going on, guys? I am bringing you episode number 23 of the Deka Street. We finally are in Division 3, winning a few games, starting off this episode with a backhand goal. Sorry about those, but again, if you get a breakaway and you want to actually win a game and score, that's your best bet at doing it. I'm just sorry that most of my goals are breakaways, but I guess just that's my style of play. But lately, I've definitely been getting less and less of those breakaway backhand goals. Anyway, though, Hansel does move, make a nice little move right there, go, gets through two of his defensemen or two of his players just to step out of the way, and a slap shot there to make it 3 nothing. And this game just, I don't know, I was expecting a lot of tight, low-scoring games, you know, like one nothing, 2-1 games, but as you can see, this game is Division 3, and it's 4 nothing right now in the first period, so... I was a bit shocked. I thought everyone was going to be a lot better. That was going to be a huge boost. And again, 5 nothing. He's not getting many shots on me. And it, he does get a breakaway. And again, see, backhand breakaway goal. Another breakaway, backhand breakaway goal. So it's not just me, guys. But yeah, I do understand that it's probably frustrating seeing the same goal. But I think I definitely did stop it a bit. And again, this kid, it was 5 nothing. It's 5-3 now. Just trying to clear out this game with a win. And we are getting some shots in the net, just trying to get anything there just to finish this game off. With 30 seconds left, Kane with a nice goal right there to seal the deal, give us a win. But we had a 5-0 lead, almost coughed that up. But we do get the win, so that's all that really matters to us. And starting division off 3, pretty good. I believe we were 3-1. and one. We started the first game off with a loss in Division 3. It might be 4-1 and one now, but we did start the first, episode, the first game off with a loss. I believe it was 2-1. But we are back on track. We just want to get to Division 1, which would be solid. I know it's going to be hard. Probably tougher in Division 2. I'm not really sure how you get matched up against 2. People are saying that Division 1 to 3 you get matched up. People are saying it's still kind of random. I have no clue, but all I do know is that people are a bit better. Maybe not that last game, but people are definitely a bit better. Smarter how they play. And Bure with a nice little move right there to Hopkins. Hopkins gets the shot off, and Kane would finish on the delayed penalty to give us a 1-0 lead. And right off, right after that goal, we win the faceoff from Hansel, who's actually been really, really good for us. Palat makes a nice little, little deke right there back to Hedman, and Hedman just bombs at home. That was a sick play right there. Palat and Hedman, definitely two underrated guys. Hedman has not got that many points for us, but he's definitely a good guy. And that nice play right there. Again, I didn't go backhand forehand. I purposely did that to try to change it up. Semi same thing, but again, not the exact same thing. And he makes a nice little play right there with 2.4 seconds, so it's kind of a buzz kill for us. We're just trying to get another win here, but again, 10 minutes left. We had a 3 0 lead. It's now 3 2, so we definitely got to play better defensively and stop letting these leads get blown, like right there. 5 0, 5 3, 3 0. Now it's 3 3. This is definitely a bit worse because we are tied going to overtime, which, again, I would show that, but nothing that exciting happened. We did get a power play, but this game would go to a shootout again. The last shootout we played, we did end up winning 1 0 with the game winning goal from Patrick Kane. This time, the guy comes on in. Again, I don't know what he's doing. I mean, if he would have went backhand, that might have went in, but he goes forehand, which they don't really go in that much. Bure. His first shot in the shootout, I believe, goes backhand, and he would score to give us a 1-0 lead right there. So that's a solid play from him again. Backhand, I'm sorry, but those are OP, and if you want to win, that's how you got to do on the breakaway. I know you don't want every goal like that, but breakaways, backhand is your best bet. If you can't score, that's definitely your best bet. <laughs> I don't even know what he was doing. I don't even know if he got poke checked. He just skated right into Miller. Paint Kane can win it here for us. Patrick Kane walks in. Semi-same thing. It does go in the net, but... I think he, uh, his goalie poked it out. Yeah, his goal. I don't even really know if he poked it out. Kane just kind of lost control of it, and they didn't count it. So if we make the save here, we win. And we do end up making the save there. Well, our computer makes a save there for Miller, and we do get another win in the shootout, and we do improve our record in Division 3 to a whopping, is it 4-1 or is it 3-1? I'm not really sure. Our record in Division 3 is 4-1, so we're doing really good. With our first loss, we get four wins in a row. Going up against a Montreal Canadiens fan who usually, in my opinion, are her good players. We start off the game with a 1-0 lead again. Nice little play from our defenseman chipping in to get us some goals, which is always nice. I like when our defensemen are in the play and creating stuff. And then McDavid with a nice little move right there finishes on the, the good old backhand. And he comes in with a semi-similar move, just forehand, making it 2-1. And Hansel with a nice little move, and he would just skate on, right on by and go through whatever goal he has. I was going to say Price, but this is Hut, not the actual just NHL team. And then another play right there. This game was pretty laggy, but it wasn't terrible. I've had really bad games where it's unplayable. But again... 
Backhand, 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 backhand. Again, I'm sorry, but that's just that's the way this game was going. Again, we got some forehand goals. Petrangelo scored in that. Hansel got the nice little breakaway goal prior to this. So, nice little play. But as you could see, this game was kind of uh, all over the place for this guy. It was 7-2 at this point with still like 18 minutes left in the third period. Now 12 minutes, and then Hansel gets the breakaway, goes backhand. And then... Mark Stahl is getting goals. That's when you know things are a bit rough for him. Mark Stahl gets a goal. Burray again, backhand goal. 10-2 in Division 3. That Whoever that was just got killed. I think that was McDavid gets killed, but uh, I don't know who even picked that up, but they scored 11-2. 45 seconds left in the third period. Maybe make it. We can make it. Maybe we can make it 12-2. I mean, this guy just had, was terrible at defense. He was getting some shots, but I don't even know. Just his defense, he's just terrible. Sorry if you're watching this, but you gotta just cover the defense up. I mean, sheesh, you kept letting me get breakaways and two on ones and three on ones and seven on three. You know, just you just gotta worry, focus on that. That was just not a good uh, division three game, but we do end up winning. What was it, thirteen two? Getting a ton of points, I guess we'll take it. And we go from being five and one in Division Three. I think we need one, maybe two more wins. I think it's two more wins to move on to Division Two. Okay, advance to Division Two, so we need one more win. But if we want to uh, not play the full ten games, we need two more wins. And the shots were twenty-six to eleven, so it wasn't like fifty to one, which semi looks like it, but semi-close and after Hansel had a pretty big game and just overall has been a really good player for us we decided to pick up the player of the game Hansel which was like 35k so not that cheap but I was thinking it would be a big improvement because Hansel is really good and apparently the player of the game is like three overall better so I was like this guy could really really help us out even though Hansel's already been really good but Hansel is now an upgrade from the regular Hansel I'm not going to make any tributes for him, Just he's just got an upgrade, so now our center core looks really, really good. Kessler, Hopkins, and Hansel. Left wings look pretty good, Bure, Kane, Palat, and then Cagliano, and then right wing we got Kane, McDavid, Semin, and Bruner. I don't know, I like our team. It's not the greatest depth-wise overall everywhere, but we've been winning games, we've been scoring goals, maybe our defense could be a little bit better. I'm still thinking Kessler should be a second-line centerman, but I'm not sure who we want to have at the first line centerman but we're going to keep him for now he's been doing good he's been scoring points we also do let this guy come back we'll let this guy score the first goal and with 10 seconds left a nice little play right there by Semen gets through Latang and skates by and knocks the water bottle down top shelf that was a sick goal you can't complain about that backhand that was a sick play Semen makes the game 1-1 and then Kane just a, a blast shot at net goes in right after the faceoff win and it's 2-1 for us with 40 seconds left trying to get to division two we need to get this win if we want to do that unless we want to wait till 10 games or so but Latang with a nice little play gets killed and then mcdavid just scores a pretty terrible goal but we do end up getting the win here and now all we need is one game and we could slide into division two's dms and you know maybe we'll put up a contract but we are six and one in division three which i was not honestly expecting i thought it was going to be like back and forth win two lose one win two lose one but we lost one, win six. I'm fine with that. We go against Braden Holtby with a pretty average goals against average and save percentage and a terrible record, but again, I've been lured by stuff like that and go, oh, this is going to be an easy game, and it turns out it's not. Like, if you remember from last episode, I don't remember what goal he had, but like a 3.6 goals against average, and we scored a whopping one goal on him. So anyway, we are going up against this game, not trying to be too cocky, but we know one win can bring us right into Division 2, and Latang shoots the puck, nice shot, but does not go in. We're just going to hold the puck back. We're going to throw it to Petrolangelo, back to Kessler. Kessler shoots, gets killed. Bure makes, makes a nice little poke check. This guy could have dumped it out right there. He does not. Kessler picks up the puck, and he does score. So Kessler with a nice little move right there. Breakaway goal, backhand, blah. You know what I mean? And 2 nothing for us with two seconds left. Just trying to get the shutout for Miller. And Miller gets the shutout and brings home Division 2 for the Deacus Tree. That's right, we need to get one more division win for us, and we are going into Division 1. And hopefully, we can win Division 1. And that's basically the goal of the series. We are almost there, and our team is pretty good. Maybe we want to get some more elite players, maybe some more tributes there. Just an overall sick team, but the main goal of this was to get to Division 1, and so far, Division 3 was pretty easy. There were some hard games, but like I think there was two shootouts, but... 
a lot of uh, blown games. It was it 13-2? One of the games was like 7-2, 8-2. I don't know. Shoosh. Just not as hard as I was expecting, but maybe just the players I was playing against. But we go 7-1 and one in Division 3, and now we are making our way into Division 2, and you guys will see what happens in the next episode. If you guys enjoy this video, please leave a like and comment your thoughts on it and what players we should pick up and stuff like that. But again, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.